Hi everyone, this is Muhammad Kubaib. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will walk through how to enable passwordless sign on with Microsoft Authenticator, which includes enabling code match as well as location and service details. Some features are in preview, so do not roll out in the production unless Microsoft confirms general availability. If you find this video useful, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the future updates. Also, if you want to learn more about Azure and Azure Virtual Desktop, please check out my Udemy course. So when you activate MFA on the user account and if the user is using Microsoft Authenticator app for the MFA, whenever the user trying to log into Azure Virtual Desktop or any service which is integrated with Azure Active Directory, so after entering the password, it will prompt for the push notification where user need to approve the request. So if the user is approving the request, then the sign in will get succeeded. Otherwise, it will get failed. Using this method, user does not have any idea which application is requesting for the credential. For example, if the user password got compromised, then some attacker is trying to log in on the behalf of user. So user will get the request. So however, the user doesn't know which application or from which location this request is coming. So let's say by mistake, if user approves this request, then the attacker might get access to the resource. However, using code match and the location on application service, you can avoid such attacks. So when you enable code match and location services, whenever the user tries to log in, he will get the prompt where he need to enter the code which is displayed in the login page. And then he can verify which application is requesting for the credential and from which location this request is coming. So this is more secure as compared to the traditional push notification. So now Microsoft supports passwordless sign-in with the help of Microsoft Authenticator. So it is highly recommended to enable this option, which is code matching as well as the location and application service so that your sign-in activity will be highly secured. So let's see how to configure the passwordless as well as code match and location and service detail options for our Microsoft Authenticator. So before we enable, we should configure MFA for the user account and user should use authenticator app. So let's go to our Azure Active Directory. We'll go to users. I have a user called test11, test11 at vdabuzz.site. So we will use this user to do the testing. So I have a group called MFA. So I'm going to add that user to the group MFA. This group is required for the assignment, which is required to enable passwordless sign-in. So this is the group. So I'll go to the member and I will add the user, which I just highlighted, that is test11. So now the user is part of MFA group. Let's try to log into the Azure Virtual Desktop portal using the user, which is test11. I have entered the username and I'm going to click on next. So it is asking for the password. I'm going to enter the password. As you can see, we do not have any multi-factor authentication as of now. So now we are going to enable multi-factor authentication for this user. To enable multi-factor authentication, we have multiple options. We can use conditional access policy or we can individually, we can enable for the users. So let's go to security. And here I'm going to click on multi-factor authentication. So here I'm going to select additional cloud-based multi-factor authentication setting. So this will take me to the MFA portal. Here you need to make sure that notification through mobile app this is enabled and then we need to go to users menu here i'm going to select my user that is test 11 and i'm going to click as enable so now mfa will be enabled 
for this user so as you can see the status is changed to enable let's go to the portal again and we'll try to log in and we'll see the behavior let's enter the username i'm going to click next and i'm going to enter the password as you can see now it is asking more information is required so we need to click next so this will take us to enroll to the mfa so now i need to click next over here so again we need to click next to enroll our phone with the authenticator app now we need to scan this code using our authentication app so on my phone i'm going to launch authenticator app and then i will click on these three dots and i will click on add account so here i need to select work and school account and then i'm going to scan the qr code so this will add my account and it will help us to enter the mfa token using this application now as you can see my account is successfully added so this is the token it is generating and this is the account details now let's go back to the portal and we'll try to log in using the code if you go back to the mfa page you can see test 11 now the status changes to enforce it means the user has enrolled to mfa let's go to the azure virtual desktop portal and we'll try to log in and it should prompt for mfa now i have entered the username let's click on next i'm going to enter the password over here as you can see it's sent a push notification so let's approve the request so i'm going to click on approve as you can see now i'm able to sign into azure virtual desktop portal using multi-factor authentication through push notification using microsoft authenticator application Let's see how to enable passwordless sign-in with code matching and additional details like location and application or service which is requesting for the authentication. So let's go to Azure Active Directory and we'll go to security. Under security, we will select authentication methods. So under authentication method, we have multiple methods like Fido, authenticator application text message temporary access pass etc so we need to click on microsoft authenticator here we need to click on enable and here we need to select the group so we have created a group earlier and we have added the user as well so let's select the group here under registration so we need to click on this option and here we need to click on configure here we need to click on passwordless and here under require number matching which is also called as code matching we need to click on enable here under show additional context in notification we need to click on enable this will help us to provide location as well as application or service which is requesting for the authentication click done and click on save so now we have enabled password let's sign in with code matching as well as location and application details one of the main requirement for the password let's sign in is we need to register our device with azure active directory so first we will go to the application which is my authenticator application under that i will select my account which is test 11 at vdabuzz.site then i need to click on this option which is set up phone sign in without a password so we need to click this option so we need to click on continue so this will register our device with azure active directory so we need to enter our password over here click on sign in we need to enter the code over here approve 
now we need to click on the register so this will register our device with Azure Active Directory so now account is successfully updated so we can go to the device tab in our Azure Active Directory we can click on all devices here we should see our mobile device because we have just registered so as you can see my Samsung phone is got registered and it join type as Azure AD registered let's try to log into the Azure virtual desktop portal and we will try to sign in using passwordless method so I am entering the credential over here this is the username I am going to click next first time we are getting an option called use an app instead so i'm not going to enter the password over here instead of i'm going to select use an app instead now in the authenticator app we are getting the code matching prompt and it also shows the application which is azure virtual desktop client which is requesting the credential and the location is sharja united arab emirates I'm going to enter the code in the authenticator application and I'm going to select done. So now I have signed in using the passwordless method. I'm going to select this as no. This is the first time experience where it will ask us to select the app instead of the password. Once you have completed the initial sign in, the second time login experience will be different first time when we try it it is asking to enter the password or we need to select the app instead of the password but however when we try for the second time it won't give you the option for the password it will directly take us to the code matching page so let's try once again I'm going to enter my credential over here. I'm going to click on next. As you can see now, it did not give option to enter the password as like earlier screen, but instead of it directly took me to the code matching. So I need to enter the code over here and then I can able to authenticate successfully without entering any password further. So this is how we can use passwordless sign in method to log into any Azure Active Directory integrated applications.